What is going on guys? Today I wanted to show you guys my new vehicle. I was looking for a truck for a little while and decided that I really wanted something different. Maybe something uh, Japanese, something four wheel drive, something with a long enough bed so that I could put the gold wing in. And I ended up uh, with this truck. So this is a 1991 Toyota Town Ace. This is the CM65. It's got a little bit longer bed. It's rated for 1,000 kilograms, which is about 2,200 pounds. And the bed is approximately nine and a half feet long. So definitely long enough to put the Goldwing in. It's only got about 32,000 miles on it. And uh, it's a pretty clean truck. So far, I'm really loving it. I've owned it for about a month now, and I've been trying to decide if uh, the truck is something you guys would want to see a little bit of. I want to try to do some things with the truck. Right now, it is a 2-liter diesel non-turbo. I think it would be an interesting project to try to put a small turbo on it. Not really for a huge power gain, but just to, just to do it, really. Um, if that's something you guys would want to see, let me know. There's other small things that uh, I would like to try to do to it. So this is a five-speed manual, but it is a five-speed on the column. So here's your column shifter right over here. And then there's the gear pattern here. And then one thing that I have done with this already is uh, I put a head unit in it, which was... Uh, interesting there's not a lot of documentation on what the wires are you kind of have to go back and search through uh old manufacturer files and stuff so even stuff as small as that i could make short videos on just so people have a reference especially if you have a mini truck or something i'm sure the wiring is very very similar i'll do a little drive for you guys so you can see what it's like So like I said, this is a five-speed manual on the column, and it is a diesel, so you gotta let the glow plug cycle, and it starts right up. It's a very fun little truck. Uh, honestly, the uh, five-speed on the column takes a little while to get used to, but once you get used to it, it feels pretty natural for the most part. You do get a lot of bed rattle just because of how uh, how much the bed is actually rated for. Uh, it's got a little bit stiffer leaf springs back there. So far after having it about a month, I can honestly say that it is a blast to drive. And if anybody out there is thinking about getting one of these, I would, there's plenty of room in here. It's pretty decent on fuel. I haven't actually done what the mileage would be, but honestly, it is an awesome truck. And uh, I don't know where else you could find a, a push button four wheel drive, split differential, manual diesel truck uh, for the price that you can generally find these for. It's also a very capable truck. This road is obviously not testing it too too much but that is one thing I would like to get into if I do put a lift on it and maybe some wheels I would like to do a little bit of off-roading maybe some type of overlanding with it I think it would be really cool to try out I wanted to do it just a quick walk around to the truck while it's running as well to uh, give you guys a little bit more info on it so like I said before it is a diesel it's very quiet and generally it doesn't roll coal or anything like that, nothing too crazy. So the motor actually is directly under this passenger seat here. So uh, to get to it, you have to fold up the passenger seat. It has some clips here. And then the whole passenger seat comes up and that's how you access the motor. It is a very neat truck, very quirky, but it is very neat. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, leave a comment if you wanna see more of the Town Ace and uh, 
I will bring you more of the town, Ace. Thank you.